Hey guys, it's Mian, and this is Beauty With Me. Zetus Lapidus! Holographic makeup! Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably noticed that there's a lot of holographic makeup in the beauty sphere lately. There are lipsticks, nail polish, eyeshadows, and of course, highlighters. So I'm very excited because I got this Milk Makeup Holographic Powder Quad that I'm very excited to try today. And then, when I was in Forever 21 earlier this week, I found this one from this brand called Lottie London. It's the Shimmer Quad, and it's only $11. So I thought, why not try them both? on my face today. This quad of highlighters retails for 49, not the cheapest highlighter quad on the market, but really beautiful nonetheless. Four shades here, a beautiful little pearly white. That's nice. There's a metallic peach. So it's sort of like a, a frosty peach on its own and then it hits the light just so and then it turns a little bit pink. So that's cool. Then there is, I guess, peachier shade. So the difference between the two highlighters that I just swatched, this top one has a little bit more of a purpley sheen, whereas this one down here is a little bit more pink. Finally, the last one is this bluish shade. And I will, I'll be completely honest when I say that I've actually never been ballsy enough to wear a highlighter that's like blue or green or purple, so this, it might be the day. So this quad from Lottie London, this is the Shimmer Squad Holographic Haul. Not the same kind of vibe, but let's swatch them and we'll see. So this white shade called the BFF looks really frosty and white in the pan, but actually when it's on your skin, it has a little bit of a pink shift so I'm gonna move on to the Rebel, which is this blue shade. It's not very holographic. It's more of a metallic highlight in my opinion. The Thrill Seeker, that's next. It's another blue highlighter. Kind of looks the same to be honest. And then finally, the Gossip. That one's a little bit more holographic. It has a little bit of like a yellowy, greenish sheen. That one's really pretty. For the sake of this video today and that we're gonna really go for and I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone a little bit, I'm gonna go for this blue one. So in terms of brushes, I think I'm gonna use this highlighter brush that I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to dip it into the blue highlighter. I'm gonna put the Milk highlighter on the left side of my face. When you see it in the light, it's like boom. It is a, it's very, it's very Xenon. She'd be proud. I'll be honest and say that I was like kind of well, scared of using a blue highlighter, but I kind of like it. I like the way it looks. I like that you can like look in the mirror and you're like boom, that's my highlight. So I'm gonna try the Lottie London version from Forever 21 right now, the Shimmer Quad. But I'm taking my brush. I'm gonna put it onto the right side of my face. Right off the bat, this one is much sheerer. So that milk highlighter that I just put on, I got that holographic like swipe with one application of it. In terms of the Lottie London one, it's looking a little bit more metallic to me. So I'm gonna dip into the product a little more and put it onto my cheekbone again. I'm seeing it a lot more now. Let's be real honest here. Blue highlighter sounds freaking crazy. I like it, I think it looks good. I've never worn a blue highlighter before, so maybe this is gonna be like my thing. So this is both highlighters on. First impressions of the two highlighters is that the Lottie London sign is definitely more metallic, less holographic, whereas the Milk is like a true, boom, holographic highlight. Although I will say they look really beautiful. They're not catching on my skin in unflattering ways, but I'm very curious to see how they'll wear. I'm gonna go on the street and I'm gonna ask some people what they think about my two highlighters, if they can tell the difference, their general thoughts, and I will reconvene with you at the end of the day so I can give you my final verdict. Okay, so one of them is like $50 and the other is like $11. What do you think? 50 and 11. It's a big difference. Big right? difference, big difference. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with the more subtle one as the more expensive one, just because 
I feel like that's something that I really like. You're correct. It's a little too much. You think this one's too much. But it's very bright. It's it is very bright. It shine like a diamond. Shine like a diamond. How much do you know about makeup? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Perfect. You're a perfect candidate. So I'm wearing two different kinds. One of them's $50 and one of them is $11. What do you think? That's a $50 right there. Why? It's shiny. It's more shiny than the other one. Really? Okay. Well, you're right. Oh, you're not right. Dude, all right. I'm caught. I am winding down for the day, and I've got to say, highlighter looking good. I went out today, as you saw, to ask a bunch of random people what they thought about my highlighter, which not gonna lie, is one of my favorite things to do, aka talk to random people about makeup. The MILF one does look just a, just a little bit more interesting, I wanna say. It's, it's a more interesting highlighter because it has that duochrome finish. It has the other colors in the palette, like the orangey pink and the peach. So, I don't know. I think the Lottie London is a really great palette to use if you don't wanna spend too much money and you wanna kinda dip your toes in the holographic kind of blue highlighter realm. They were both really lovely, but I think the the milk one's one that I'm gonna experiment with more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, and let me know in the comments down below which one you would buy or if you'd buy both. I'll catch you guys next week, bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you wanna see next on Beauty With Me in the comments below, and click here to subscribe to Refiner29, and click here to watch more videos. Bye.